Welcome to Castle McEgan. Cade me la falta, a hundred thousand welcomes. Join us on a tour of the castle. Let's start with the Great Hall. The Great Hall. It is the gathering place, the heart of the castle. The floor is tiled with many beautiful designs. Court is held here. Momentous decisions are made here. Delicious feasts are served up here. Sometimes guardsmen sleep in the great hall where it is warm and safe. The sitting room. Ah, here's where the real power in the castle lies. The king's desk. Containing the detritus of the daily business of running the kingdom. A chess set for practicing strategic thinking. Behind the desk, tis a portrait of the king himself. Ah, a cozy fire. A harp for soothing musical entertainment. Ah, here we are, the kitchen, the life's blood of the castle. Food, glorious food. The aisle lamps are raised and lowered by ropes. They must be tended daily. There's a plump goose for the feast. Ah, garlic hanging on the wall. Mmm, the smell of delicious bread bacon. Ooh, look there! A tartish shell. What a prize! The Ladies' Solar, the home of the gentle art. There's a spinning wheel for making yarn. And an inkle loom for making belts and trims. There's a table for doing crafts or for taking a light snack, perhaps. There's a set of knitting needles and yarn. I wonder what they are making. Dulcet tones from a stringed instrument to accompany the ladies' work. Now, let's go upstairs to the master bedroom. Welcome to the master bedroom, where the lord and the lady of the manor take their rest. There is a masthead holding up the reindeer antlers as a chandelier. There's the Lord's boots and sword. Their bed stays snug with a canopy and a warm fire. The window portrays the famous lovers, Psyche and Eros. Fun, the nursery. The young lord has left his toys out. There are knights, a top, and a wooden sword for practicing. There's a bassinet for the wee bairn. The king wants his son to read and write. He practices on wax tablets. 
A small wooden bed helps keep the young lord warm at night. Some stained glass windows behind the storage chest. That's a luxury for one so young. The church, the spiritual centre of Castle Loch. The stained glass windows tell a story because most people could not read. Bibles were often large so that all people in the church could see them. See the knight's chairs? There were no pews, so only those with money sat. All others stood through the service. See the rose window? It had the signs of the zodiac because people believed the stars guided their lives. There's a shrine for Mary, the Blessed Virgin, the Mother of God. The reliquary box contains her veil and there's a portrait of her above it. There's the stairs that go all the way up to the bell tower. Celtic cross on the ground. And the seals of saints. Cloistered gardens. A place for quiet and sweet contemplation. A rose. Gather the rose of love whilst yet is time. Someone might be expected to meet their true love here, perhaps. Ooh, look, a fountain. Grapevines for the wine the king loves so much. These lovely tiles are patterned after ones from Italy, I hear. Phew! We've reached the top of the tower, the alchemist's room. Do you know what alchemists do? Alchemists studied science, chemistry, and astronomy. Ah, what's on his workbench? I see scales. The alchemist appears to be illuminating today. I wonder what he's going to draw. and star charts, and an armillary sphere for studying the stars. Look, 
sea. He even has stars in his seams. Ah, I see cauldrons for heating and mixing. Magical potions. The storage room doesn't sound very exciting, but it holds everything the castle residents need. I wonder what's in those boxes. Perhaps fabrics for the lady of the castle. Look! A variety of delicious meats and fishes hanging from the rafters to dry. Watch your step. Eggs, leather, candles, and parchment. An embarrassment of riches. Let's go up to the armory. Now we're in the armory, the home for the weapons of war. A barrel of arrows. We store them standing on their heads so as not to hurt the feathers. On the shelf are some helmets and also some helms for the hot days. I see a table where they are mending arrows. Ooh, axes and maces and mobs. Oh my. Oh look, a storage trunk with chain mail, some shields, and a gambeson. This is the shield of the Lord of the Castle, ready to be used, only if needed. I see long weapons by the door, pikes and spears, and there is the suit of armour for the lord of the castle, and bows ready to be used by archers. <laughs> 